so hi, I'm Kate, I'm from Wales. I currently go to Nottingham Trent University and I study international business. So I chose to do a homestay um, and an apartment split um, initially when I uh, put my application forward for into in China. But when I arrived and after my first month here, my homestay family invited me to stay for the second month. Initially, I was thinking I wanted to go for the apartment because I thought that would bring more independence. But I realised that what I'd actually learnt during my time here about the Chinese culture and the benefits of learning the language from Chinese people uh, each day um, outweighed the increased independence of being in the apartment. So I decided to stay. Um, I've now been with them for seven weeks and I'm so glad I made the choice to do it. But my first um, day, the family took me out with their friends and uh, other members of the family to this traditional Chinese restaurant. And all the excitement of being in China was definitely there because it was so new and so different. But I got a bit overwhelmed at the meal because everybody was speaking Chinese. Um, and even though some people had broken English, I was still a bit, I said, oh my gosh, I've come to China. I don't know much Chinese. I only knew the basics. And I was thinking, what have I done? So that evening then when we came back from the meal, I rang friends, spoke to other, other interns and they were like, Kate, this is completely normal. You're honestly going to be fine. Just, it's the jet lag, you're tired, very overwhelming. And they were completely right. The following day, woke up, had breakfast with the family, and I, they were true to their word, I was absolutely fine. You may feel that it's like a completely different world and that you're going to struggle, but honestly you're not once you get past that initial barrier. And you may not even experience it, but when for me, getting past that barrier, I was completely fine and like I say, I'll never look back on this. family and I, uh, we went to Chufu and we climbed Mount Tai together, which was a really great experience and it also really welcomed me into the family. I was treated like one of their own children and I was introduced as their new daughter to their friends and their family who we met when we were there, so it was really heartwarming. Obviously I'm really lucky to have the Chinese parents um, having such good English language skills, but I've been fortunate enough to travel quite a lot since I've been here and obviously I don't have them to support me or like, guide me. Um, so on a recent trip to Beijing, um, I realised that like just using your hands it, in itself as like an international language and like for directions or anything, you just, you just manage. And I will say Chinese people are so, so patient and all they want to do is help you. One thing is I want to know different cultures and I want to make uh, friends with people from different backgrounds, different countries and I want to know them and I, I think this is a good stage for them to know China, to know Chinese. Mm -hmm. This happens to um, you know, people from different countries, it's natural. And, uh, when I shower a lot, don't I? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but you know, um, different uh, culture difference do exist. But you, um, how can I say? Um, we try our best to understand yeah, each other, right? And sometimes that we haven't got a clue what each other are on about. Okay, I think it's but, okay. But yeah, but we make it work. It's good. Yeah, I think in the future we do keep in contact all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. And I think the things that I've learned and also for to benefit my language skills, it'll be perfect to have a Chinese native that I can talk to at the end of the phone who can clarify things for me. Or should I wish to come back to China, I've got Xu Yang to help me and guide me should I need any assistance. The located this is your second family. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. I've been introduced as Xu Yang's new daughter multiple times. Yeah. So it's been lovely. Come to China and see for yourself. And yeah. just, they're so friendly see, and helpful. See China with your own eyes. Yeah. Okay. Seeing is better than listening. listening. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Come and see what is China like. What is Chinese <laughs> like. Okay? Welcome. Okay.